Hello everyone, we're gonna be doing it a little different today. If you don't if you don't already know, I am Nazareth. And for those who don't believe, I hope this gets you. For those who do believe, I hope this also gets you. So today we're gonna be reading Hebrews eleven, seven to ten. Okay? So let me if you want get your Bibles out. I know it's a small Bible, but here's the still words. Lord of God. So um Seven, okay. You got them? Three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, so, by faith Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moves with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world, um, and became righteousness, uh, became righteousness, which is by faith? Yeah. Um, by faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place, which he should after receive for an inheritance, <clears throat> obeyed, and he went out not knowing whether he went. By faith, um, he sojourned in the land of promise. <clears throat> um, sorry, I'm trying to get that word. A strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs, um, who um, saw who. <clears throat> Who the heirs with him of um, the same promise. For he looked for a city whose hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. So, that's the end of Hebrews 11, 7 through 10. If um, you guys... Give them a lesson. Um, and the lesson for today, I, the, the reason why I had given you that is because it's something that you should learn and that for me for me personally it tells me what it was like about like it tells me the bible i try to keep in touch with god a lot um to be honest i don't think i am like good good like that with him but, like, I think I should keep my connection with them. All right. So, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. And um, I'll see you guys next time.